Soulmate with Brian. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Soulmate with Brian. Um, our guest today is a longtime friend, um, a partner in, in the gospel, in the ministry, and uh, it's such an honor and a blessing to have him uh, on our show today. Let's give it up for Ricky Kim. Ricky, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Um, and then, you know, we didn't have a chance to live with my mother, so I had no Korean background. Uh, I, I grew up in Kansas. In Kansas everybody everybody well. around me was Caucasian, brown hair, blue eyes, green mm -hmm. eyes. Um, so, I mean, growing in, up, in, up there was a, a, a bit of identity crisis. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, growing into that, if you're good at sports or if you're, you're good at school, mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah, academics, or if you're really funny and humorous, you mm -hmm. can gather a lot of friends. So I tried all three as much as possible. Yeah. Um, I was a funny kid. I, I was good at, good at school. Um, and I also really enjoyed sports. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, um, I kind of, with the difficulties of life, mm -hmm. I kind of put them in the back. Um, because if you fill it out with worldly things, it mm -hmm. actually it feels good. Mm -hmm. And so I felt good for a while, but then I was, at a young age, um, my father had died in an accident at oh, work. Oh, really? So at the age of 14, I was put into you know, the um, foster system. Oh, really? Okay. But I was so um, blessed that my, my dad's youngest sister had, mm -hmm. had taken us as, in as, as, as a caregiver. Oh, wow. And so um, I grew up with my, with my, um, my aunt, mm -hmm. and uh, she raised us. We were, no, nobody in our family is from a Christian background. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I was just fortunate that a friend had said, hey, let's go to church. Wow. And so for church for me was more of like kind of a community, mm -hmm. um, art classes, singing, dancing. They had some good snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really nice. But then it was, at the same time, it was also kind of this, this whirlwind of um, um, if they, 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 they talk and they act this way, but then behind closed doors, it, it's this way. Different, so it was kind yeah. of a... Uh, I don't know how to say that in, in how do I say that in English? Um, uh, kind of friend. almost like compromising in their lives. Right. Yeah. Didn't so, match. Yeah. The, I guess those two if, worlds. if you would say it like in a very uh, uh, a negative way, it would be two faced. Mm -hmm, and so right. seeing that and being a part of that, I was like, wow, is this is all Christianity. And so I remember going to college and I, I kind of stepped away for a while. Mm -hmm. And then God called me back. Uh, I was preparing for law school. Got out of college. And I was reading the scriptures. I just decided to read the scriptures. Oh, you did? Uh, just on your own? Just, just wanted to read. It. I, I, I pray a lot. I prayed a lot then. Um, I went to, to church from six to, to, to eighteen, mm -hmm. and then in college for four years, I just prayed a lot. I decided, you know, um, somebody told me, you know, if you're going to be a lawyer, you got to read more. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll read more. I started falling in love with reading, and then one day it just popped on in my head. Um, if I want, if if I was a mathematician, mathematician. Mm -hmm then I should probably study math. Mm -hmm. If I'm a Christian, then maybe I should study the Bible. Yes. And so I was falling in love with reading, and I decided to pick up the Bible. And I remember somebody telling me that the Bible is the living word of, of God. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. And Jesus died for our sins and for my sins. It's a personal journey. Yeah. And so I was reading the scriptures for the first time with that attitude. Mm -hmm. And I got bit with the gospel, and the gospel just really just, just dug into me. And um, I just fell in love with, you know, uh, I need to, I need to follow Christ. Wow. And it was a very simple, just the, the, the gospels, just I read them and they just transformed my life. It was nothing, no it wasn't crazy a event. It was a camp or retreat. It, it was, was the gospels. Amazing. And I read them and I wanted to surrender to the Lord. I, I, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I wanted to live by what the word said. Yes. And I wanted the, the word to be a part of my life. I didn't want it to just be words. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, to have it touch me. Right. I wanted to be able to touch it. And right. so, I mean, it's like, where is Jesus? And it's like, wow, I, I mean, when Jesus touches you, 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 you when you know, yes. you know, right? And so um, I uh, stopped on law school and I came to Korea and just became an evangelizer. And that's the start of this whole journey. <laughs> so you, you were in the middle of law school. And, and, I was right at the door, ready to go in. Okay. And uh, I, the gospel said to share the, share the, share the word. Mm -hmm. Uh, to the orphans and to the widows, and I looked around. Amen, I was amen. seeing orphans and widows. I was praying, and wow. I was overly emotional about my grandma who doesn't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. I got on a plane and just came in to Korea. Korea. Was an evangelizing my grandma, and then hopefully go back to law school, be a lawyer, uh -huh. you know, help help people that need help. And but God's like, no. Wow. I've got work. For I me. I had one um, one one not one semester, but one class left of my my English literature class at UT Austin. Mm -hmm. To graduate, yeah. and then I, I, I dropped that, uh -huh. and I came to to evangelize yeah. the youth in Korea. When God calls you, um, you, and you know it's God. Mm -hmm. uh, people are like, well, how do you know it's God? Is it? Like, well, then if you read the scriptures, and the scriptures become like you. If you eat the scriptures, yeah, like, don't physically eat the scriptures. <laughs> Please do not. Do not eat the paper. Please do not eat like. The Unless it's edible paper. <laughs> no, don't don't no, do that. Either. It's a lot of a lot of edible. It's not a good image. So if you're if you're really really absorbing it, eating it, and, and making it a part of your life, yes. um, 
like you 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 know, you know. and then it's exactly. not it's like there's a journey of knowing that it's it's God like the Israelites were called to leave Egypt and to cross this river that was impossible. Mm -hmm. So you know it's God. You fear the Lord. You want to obey the Lord. Okay. But then you eventually you go into this place called the wilderness, Kwangya, and the God starts to say, no, this is, this is a group. We're together. Mm -hmm. And so I started seeing, wow, through the word and through, through God's people and situations, I'm seeing and understanding and really trusting the Lord. Yeah. And so I, just, I came to Korea. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So how was it when you first came to Korea? You know, you came with the heart and a passion to serve God and, you know, and share the gospel to your grandma, mm -hmm. you know? So, so how were those first couple years in South Korea? So when the Israelites followed uh, Moses mm -hmm. and then like they were about to cross the river right before that, do you remember what happens? Like they're like, why did you bring us here? Yeah, and they complained. Oh yeah. my God, if we were in Egypt, at least they would feed it was, us. It was better in and Egypt. And there's a place to bury us. <laughs> like, there's not even a place to bury us here. And like, right. and in, the, in the backgrounds, the Egyptians are coming to kill them. Mm -hmm. Like, Pharaoh and his people are so angry. And then right. there's this big, 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 big sea. Right in front of them. And then God's like, hey, Moses, why are you crying? Right? It's the first thing. He's like, why are you crying? That's so, that's so like, personal and so relational. Like, mm -hmm. why are you crying? And then uh, he's like, Moses, you know, first, tell them the cross and then or hit, the, hit the sea and let it open. Mm -hmm. So it's like, the second they get in there, it's like, wow, so amazing. And then you arrive in this wilderness. Right. So when I, when I got to Korea, I'm like, it's so amazing and beautiful. But then it's like, I don't speak Korean. Mm. How am I supposed to evangelize to my grandma and do, do work here? I don't even speak Korean. I, I, don't, I don't eat Korean food. I don't speak Korean. I don't know anything about any culture over here. Yeah. You say K-pop and K-drama, I knew nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. When I was a kid, like eight years old, my mom... Um, we, we met up back again and she, she brought us to Korea for a second. I got a, a cassette tape. Yeah. A cassette tape. And it was Boa. Boa. <laughs> it was a cassette tape of when she was, when she first, like her first album. Yeah, yeah. I remember I got it and I never listened to it. Yeah. Ever. I come to Korea and like, when I came to Korea in 2006, like Boa or, mm. or like at that time, um, other artists that were back then. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of them, you know. When I was in like maybe junior high, high right. school, it would have been. I'm, I'm it's, glad it's so different from now, yeah. Yeah, and so like um, when I got here, I knew nothing. Mm. And then I, I remember I just felt like I felt like maybe what the Israelites felt like when they stepped in the wilderness, like mm -hmm. seriously, like seriously. And so uh, the Israelites, I think, for many days, like didn't complain, but then they eventually did. Mm -hmm. I was like, when I got here, I was like, whoa, this is not what I expected. Mm. And so it was hard at first. Don't speak Korean. Um, I don't have any money, mm. um, so I, but I really, I really knew that I was here for the gospel, but I just didn't know why, how, or what. Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, I was just, the only, only thing I had to do was read the scriptures and just pray. Mm -hmm. And then God invites you to people and invites people to you. And so right. through a person, through a, you know, a church or through a situation, mm -hmm. uh, God reveals and I just accepted. Mm -hmm. so. And that's the time that we met too, right? That was exactly at, the time we met. At the same church. The, the fresh like uh, vulner vulnerable Ricky, uh -huh. <laughs> about to give up and run away. Yeah. Is that what, that's what we know. Hey guys, welcome back to Soulmate with Brian. Uh, we appreciate your support and all your comments. We ask that you would continue to uh, share this video with your friends and family. And if you haven't uh, done it yet, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, uh, click the bell button. Uh, you know what it is, right? Uh, click it and you'll see our updates. Thank you.